is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Hi, good evening and welcome to Sports Wednesday. I'm Julian Gibson. The All for One Regatta will take place the 26th and 27th of this month at the Monarchy Four Shores. Reverend Dr. Philip McPhee, one of the movers and shakers in the sport of sloop sailing, well, he's thanking the minister for coughing up some $40,000. Minister, I wish to thank you again for stepping to the plate and to assuring uh, sailors and boat owners that regattas are important enough for you to go uh, a second time to assure the success of this particular regatta. And so thank you, sir, for your, your support, your energy. And then I wish to thank the, the committee, the steering committee of the All for One Regatta, headed by King Eric, for their work uh, that they're doing. And salute the boat owners and sailors for the great efforts they have done over the many years. Now, James Wallace, he's asking for some additional help to help pull off this regatta. This event, we're certainly looking for more sponsors to be on board, to assist us, to defray the cost of this event. And, you know, coming out to Montague, uh, it's a family-oriented environment. The beach is lovely. We can enjoy a very lovely evening uh, in Montague on Saturday and Sunday. The, you know, we have, I represent the National Sailing Association. There's a club called the Bahamas Boat Owners and Sailors in the Commonwealth Sailing Association. This is indeed a wonderful opportunity that we can get together and, and make things happen. Still talking sailing from Farmer's Cakes, Omeda Class Regatta will take place the first weekend in February. Plans are in full gear. Uh, the funds are coming in relatively okay. We have commitments from at least 14 to 16 boats, and we expect competitive sailing, and all of those who have the hard mouth, uh, Reverend Dr. Mark Fee with Ace Hujaw, Thunderbird, uh, Sweet Island Gal, and of course, Paul Ridge, and you know the fast boat, uh, Golden Girl out of Baratari, and of course, the new boat, Keep Your Eyes on and Jeffrey out of Rulewell. All of those guys claiming that they're gonna be the champion in Farmer's Key this year, so we are hoping uh, to see who's gonna be the champion. We have great anticipation of competitive Competitive sailing, and we know it's going to be good in Farmer's Key uh, first Friday in February uh, 2013. Last year at Farmer's Key, uh, we saw a beautiful refurbished regatta side. I guess you made some more improvements, and you all excited about Farmer's Key uh, regatta once again? Yeah, I'm very excited about it. Um, if, um, if the weather holds out, I expect that we should um, um, be as busy, probably even busier, because there's a, there, a huge buzz was... Um, um, uh, started happening after the last uh, uh, homecoming. So being in Georgetown like I am most of the time, um, we uh, were doing all we can to promote Farmer's Key and the response from the, 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 the persons out of Georgetown and all the settlements is really, really good. Well, the New Providence Women's Basketball Association they were in action last night at the Donald Davis Gym. Two exciting basketball games. It's a new year, but officials of the New Providence Women's Basketball Association hoping to get those huge crowds they had in 2012 instead of one here and two there. Well, putting up twos and threes last night was the Bummerji Angels. In the first quarter, the Bummerji Angels led 16-11 at halftime. The score would be 34-21, a 13-point lead for the Angels. Hmm, hmm, I smell a blowout coming in the third quarter, end of the third 59 to 26, the Bummer G Angels, but it would roll. 67 to 39, beating COB Cabs. Cabs go back to school. In the feature game, Coach James Price tried his best to talk his way out of a beating by the Cheetahs, but it was not to be. Price and the Truckers lost to the Cheetahs, 74 to 71. From Hot Rod Racing, Clint Harding, he really likes how the new track is all shaping up. Oh, well, actually, if I could just turn and show you what, um, what we have so far. This here is our shared parking, where you enter the facility from over here. Park, if you're uh, just a spectator, you'll walk up that sidewalk towards the starting line, the pit area, all the bleacher seating, which is on this side, coming down to about the 660-foot mark. If you look straight up, ahead that's where you'll see two cars coming straight down that's where the race starts where we are now is the end this is the shutdown area uh, sand pit gravel pit safety fences that sort of stuff we're gonna have a 
sound absorptive wall between us and the ongoing traffic and all of the residential areas over there just to keep the sound within the racing surface. And when you compare the new truck to the old one, it's like comparing night to day. No comparison whatsoever. Oh, far better, man. Uh, just the feedback so far, so many people are excited, so many cars are just sitting, waiting, everybody's on the sidelines, just anxious, really anxious. And um, we're excited, we can hold more people here. Um, and you can see it's bigger, it's better, it's a part of something grand. So everyone's excited, expect big things. Well, that's all the time for sports on a Wednesday. Once again, I'm Julian Gibson, stay tuned. You've got a forecast, it's still to come.